Hello guys. It's time to show you my my build that I'm progressing in expeditions for now. But before that, I want to show you something about the crafting. So basically when you go when you want to craft, it's like yesterday I log in my old character, my old character, and I wanted to craft something. When I click, I put my item, and I click craft. I didn't want. I didn't get what I want, so I put another. And that's how I lost 63 stacks materials using the craft. I don't know what to say about this. I don't know what Wolfson are doing. I don't know if they have some people that are testing their game before they release it. But Till now, I found so many stupid bugs, things, and it's it's annoying. It's unbelievable for thirty-five dollars. It's unbelievable to to get something like this. I was reading Reddit yesterday and today, and it's I just have no words what people are saying there. So basically guys, when you want to craft, don't lose your stacks. Imagine that you're farming one week materials to craft something and you don't see this. You click, you click craft, you're losing the whole stack. So basically, just split them guys. Split them and go one by one. Because you can use all, you can lose all your material, guys. All your material. Just, just watch out about this. Just watch out. Okay, about my build. Using the three phantom blades. This is my best choice for now, in the Slayer's Flurry. Sometimes Leas fl Flurry is just destroying everything, just everything. But my main skill is the Phantom Blade. I don't have time to test a lot of stuff right now. And not only time, I don't have the materials because look, look how expensive it is to reset your attributes. Everything is toughness for now, by the way. 220,000 gold. To reset your gate of fate, 7,000. Primordium. So, basically, my main stats, my main skills here, I start from here, picking the 30% critical chance. And right now, I'm testing the full Kabbalist tree. You can pick first this one and this one after you beat the story. After that, I'm getting Child of Fury to regenerate rage instead of full power. The most important thing is plus one projectile. So you can throw two Phantom Blades instead of one. This is the most important skill, guys. Then I go for critical damage, and after that, one important thing, at least for me, you need element chance to apply elements, guys. You need a good chance to apply the elements. Around like 20, 25, around 25, it's, it's good. So I pick the element 
the elemental and material element chains plus this one. I'm not sure I'm gonna use this one later in game, but for now I'm using still the same. You can skip those two points if you want. 200 willpower and rage, you can skip them. But basically, first you need this one, those two, this one, and this one. This is everything for now in Gate of Fate. To unlock the duplicates. You need to upgrade your main building a few times to get more productivity. You need to unlock the duplication stuff from here. And here you can unlock your fifth skill slot. It will take you maybe one time, if uh, one day, if you are not a hardcore gamer. It will, it will take you when be, maybe one day. So basically you start with one Phantom Blade. My best choice for other skills are Thierry Fitileo to replace the other one and Sowerfall to replace the, other, the, the third one. No matter what stats you have on your items, Thierry Fitileo is one of your best choice while you're trying to unlock the second duplicate. Blood for blood, with this rune here, it's amazing too. It's really good. I'm about to test to convert all three of them to different damage type to get all the elements but I'm losing a lot of FPS when I convert this to lightning light lightning so basically this is my runes on phantom this one is still not level 60 I'm missing one point blink Lightbringer using Lightbringer only to break boss's shields. That's the only reason I'm using Lightbringer. Uh, you can use Winter's Grasp. It's working too. At least before. I didn't test now. And my Slayer's, Slayer's Flurry runes, guys. So basically, replace those two with those two. This damage, the damage of Tier Fitilio is insane for now. No matter what, if you have material on your web on on your items, I don't have any gems on my items. Only two here. I'm just not collecting everything and not just selling everything on shop but I need to start collecting good items because I'm going higher so I think this is everything maybe I forgot something I, I don't know let's just do one run it's like sometimes there's flurry when you get so close to the boss you're not hitting all the time it's like there is a A hits that are deal zero damage. But most of the time you're just melting everything. After you spawn your Phantom Blades, you know. I forgot to say that I have Trial Belt But Trial Belt is nerfed It's not like before But it's, it's still 
good for the expedition, for this expedition. I don't know what will happen in end game, but we will see very soon. You see, Slayer's Slayer Fury just melted him. He just disappeared. I'm losing a lot of FPS. Look, I'm not hitting sometimes. I'm losing a lot of FPS while I'm playing maybe one hour, two hours. Or when there is a lot of different skills on the screen. And if you have the same problem, stop spawning them, motherfucker. If you have the same problem, remove those silhouettes and gore mode. I'm losing a lot of FPS when I'm using gore mode. Like, my FPS is dropping. Like, there is no tomorrow. Leave us. Leave me. We served you without question. Followed your orders, and you. Not that many. No one will believe that I never saw these powers, that they were given to me against my will. Not right now. Holy shit, that was the fucking Slayer Fury, guys. But it's not every time like this. It depends. If you can land all the hits, your positioning, <laughs> and yeah. So basically, this is everything, guys. And one guy commented on my last video that there is still a dupe method. That people can, st can still dupe items. I don't know if it's true or not. I really hope that this is not true, but I I believe in this guy and I'm I'm pretty sure that he's not lying lying to me. But we will see with the time if it's true or not. I don't know. I want to thank you guys for the few guys that support me and donate me and yeah just really appreciate it guys thank you for the support and if you have any questions i'm streaming Wolfson for now just lots of Wolfson. and see you next time guys see you next time